What is the interval difference? The interval difference is equal to 5. Class interval is in between 35.5 to 40.5. 50 plus 60, 110 divided by 2 is 55. This is how we are going to find the midpoint. This 20 to 30 is the median class. This is the median class 20 to 30. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of Mathematical and Statistical Computing. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Computer Science, Vidashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. In my previous class, we have discussed regarding finding the mean deviation about the mean and the median. Now, today in this session, I will take few more problems regarding mean deviation for the grouped data. Let us discuss the first problem. So, calculate the mean deviation about the median, mean deviation about the median for the following data, class given 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60 and the frequency F is given 6, 7, 15, 16, 4 and 2. Now, let us represent this in a table. So, what is given class interval 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. Frequency is nothing but F5, 6, 7, 15, 16, 4, 2. If you add this, so what you will get? Sigma F5 is equal to, if you add, this is equal to 50. So, 6 plus 7 plus 15 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 50. Right. Now, find out the cumulative frequency. Cf, cumulative frequency, this is 6, add. So, 6 plus 7, that is equal to 13. Again, 13 plus 15, that is equal to 28. Again, 28 plus 16. So, 8 plus 6, it is 4. 2, 3, 44. Again, 44 plus, 44 plus 4 is 48. Again, 48 plus 2 is equal to 50. So, you will get 15, right. So, this is the cumulative frequency. Now, find out the midpoint, midpoint of the class interval. That is called Xi. 0 plus 10 divided by 2, that is 10 by 2 is equal to 5. Then again 10 plus 20, 10 plus 20 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, it is a difference of 10, 10, 15. Again 15 plus 10 is 25, 25 plus 10 is 35, 35 plus 10 is 45, 45 plus 10 is 55. See, 50 plus 60, 110 divided by 2 is 55. This is how we are going to find the midpoint. Now, to just to find the median, here what is n? n is equal to? 50. So, n by 2, n by 2 means that is nothing but 50 by 2, that is nothing but 25th, 25th, 25th item. So, which is 25th item, that is less than 28. The 25th item is, 25th item is nothing but here, 20 to 30. This 20 to 30, right. So, therefore, this 20 to 30 is the median class. This is the median class 20 to 30. So, therefore, find out the median. For median, we have the formula median m is equal to L plus n by 2 minus c divided by f into h. So, L plus n by 2 minus c divided by f into h. Now, what is the class interval here? So, it is 20 to 30. So, 20 to 30 is the class lower value is equal to 20. And what is the cumulative frequency corresponding to this? So, above this, this is the cumulative frequency. That is c is equal to 13. c is equal to 13. And what is f? f is 15 here. f is equal to 15. And uh, what is H? H is nothing but the interval difference 10 and N is equal to 50. Substitute here. That's it. So, just the median is given by what is the formula? L plus N by 2 minus C divided by F into H where L is the lower class interval 20. N is uh, 50 and uh, C is nothing but 13 here. F is the frequency 15 and H is the class, H is the interval difference. So, that is nothing but L is 20 plus n by 2, n by 2 is nothing but 25 minus c, what is c? c is equal to 13 divided by f, what is f? it is 15 into h is 10, so 20, 25 minus 13 that is equal to 12 divided by 15 into 
10. So this is equal to 20 plus 12 by 15 into 10, 120 divided by 15. So this can be just divide like this. 5 3 is a 5 2 is a 3, 3 4 is a 12, 4 2 is a 8. So this is equal to 28. So therefore the median is equal to 28. Median is 28. 28 is the median. Now therefore substitute here. What is this mod of xi minus m median is 28. Now xi, this is xi. Subtract 5 minus 28 under mod mod of 5 minus 28 that is equal to minus 23. Mod of 23 can run as plus 23. Okay. 15 minus 28. 15 minus 28 is equal to minus 13. Modulus of minus is plus. 25 minus 28 is minus 3. Modulus of minus 3 is plus 3. 35 minus 28 is equal to plus 7. So, 45 minus 28 is 17 mod 17 again 55 minus 28 is 27. So, this is mod of xi minus m. So, deviation from the median. Now, just find out fi into xi minus m. Just fi multiply with this. What is this equal to? 6 into 23 that is 138. Again 7 into 13 that is equal to 91. 15 into 3, 15 3 is a 45, okay. Then 16 into 7, 112, 112. Yes, 17 4 is a 48. And the last 27 into 2 is 54, okay. So if you add this, sigma fi mod xi minus m, this is equal to 508, 508. Now conclude, therefore the mean deviation, mean deviation about the median is given by, what is the formula? So here it is the formula is sigma fi xi minus m, sigma fi xi minus m divided by n. So how many values are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here i is equal to 1 to 6. Now what is sigma fi xi 508 divided by n is 50. What is this equal to? This is equal to 10.16. So therefore, the mean deviation is equal to 10.16. The mean deviation is 10.16. Followed. So very important. The formula is very important. To find the median is L plus n by 2 minus c divided by f into h which is a lower class interval n that is nothing but sigma fi minus c. c is nothing but the cumulative frequency, f is the frequency, h is the interval difference. So substitute here you will get uh, m is equal to 28 and subtract each and every value from xi and multiply with uh, fi, you will get sigma fi xi minus m. Substitute in the formula, mean deviation is equal to 508 by 50 that is equal to 10.16. Hope you followed. Now, Move on to the next problem. Find the mean deviation about the median age for the age distribution 100 percent given below in the table. Now, so what is to find here? Mean deviation about the median. Mean deviation about the median. So, if you observe carefully here the problem, the class interval 16, 20, 21, 25, 26, 30, 31, 35. So, this is not a continuous data. This is not continuous. So, all the class interval 16, 20, 21, 25, 26, 30, etc. are all discontinuous. So, this can be, this class interval can be made as continuous by just adding and subtracting for the lower interval and the upper interval with half of this 21 minus 20 that is equal to 21 minus 20 is 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5. That means now this can this class interval can be arranged by subtracting 0 0.5 in the lower interval and adding 0 0.5 in the upper interval. Then what happens? 16, 16 minus 0 0.5 that is equal to 15.5 and uh, 20 plus 0 0.5 that is equal to 20.5. So here the class interval is 
220.5. So by doing like that, let us rearrange the class interval. So the first one is 15.5 to 20.5. Second, 21 minus 0 0.5 is 20.5 plus 0.5 for this is 20.5 plus 25.5. Again 25.5 plus then 230.5. 30.5 to 35.5, 35.5 to 40.5, 40.5 to 45.5, 45.5 to 50.5, 50.5 again 50.5 to 55.5. In all these cases, the class interval is continuous, right? So, what is the interval difference? The interval difference is equal to 5, right? 5 is the interval difference. So, now this is the continuous data. The given frequency from this table is 6, 6, 12, 14, 26, 12, 16 and 9. Put it in order. So the given frequency now add sigma fi is equal to sigma fi is equal to 100. Sigma fi is equal to 100. Now find out the cumulative frequency. Now what is the cumulative frequency? This is phi as it is. 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 12. 11 plus 12 is 23. Again 23 plus uh, 14 is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. That is 37. Again 37 plus 26. That's equal to 63. 63 plus 12 is equal to 75. Again, 75 plus 16 is 91. 91 plus 9 is 100. Okay. Now, this is n. n is equal to 100. Now, find out what is n by 2. n by 2 is equal to 100 divided by 2. That's equal to 50. So, therefore, the cumulative frequency is 50 greater than or equal to 50. Cumulative frequency is greater than or equal to 50. So, therefore, the cumulative frequency corresponding to this is, so therefore, just equal to greater than or equal to 50 means this is 63, right. Corresponding to the class interval, corresponding to the class interval 35.5 to 40.5 and F is equal to 26, right, okay. N is equal to 50, that is greater than our cumulative frequency is greater than or equal to 50. Therefore, the class interval corresponding to this greater than or equal to 53 is 60. The cumulative frequency is 50 and F is 26 and the class interval is in between 35.5 to 40.5, right. So, therefore, this is the median class. Now, just substitute the values, find out the class interval F and M. So, from this, L is equal to lower class interval is 35.5 and H the interval difference is 5 and the cumulative frequency that is uh, is 30 just above this median class that is 37 C of C is equal to 37 then F is equal to 26 and N, N is equal to 100 N by 2, N by 2 is equal to 100 by 2 is equal to 50. Now substitute this in, that is 50, 100 by 2 is 50. Substitute this in, find out the median. Therefore, the median M is equal to L plus H by F, H divided by F into N by 2 minus C. What is L? L is equal to 35.5 plus H, H is 5 divided by F is 26 into n by 2, n by 2 is nothing but 50, 100 by 2 is 50 minus c, c is equal to 37. Now, substituting these values, l, h, f, n by 2 and c, this is 35.5 plus 5 by 26 into 50 minus 37 is 13. So, 13 twos are gets cancelled. This is 35.5 plus 5 by 2 that is 35.5 plus 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5. So, what is this equal to? 35.5 plus 0.5 is 36 plus 2 that is 738. So, this is equal to 30. So, therefore, the median is equal to 38. That is it. Median is equal to 38 for this given problem. Okay. Hope you followed. So, therefore, median is equal to 38. So, hope you followed. So, this is how we are going to calculate the median for the given data if whenever the class interval is discontinuous. Whenever, so, just make the given data as continuous and then solve using the formula.
So L plus H by F into N by 2 minus four P followed. So that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.